Mm. Jackfruit is so good. Today, I'm going to install a new wheel on the Miata. Came in like two days ago, but it's down in San Diego for Michael's graduation. And this is actually not the Cypher steering wheel that's pretty popular because it has this red stripe. But I think other than that, it looks almost identical. Already unplugged the battery on the Miata because we will be having to remove the airbag and we do not want the airbag to be going off in our hands while we're holding it. I also bought paint, gloss black and a clear coat. I'm gonna try to paint this black. From my experience, I have not had a good experience painting gloss. I've always had a lot of orange peel, but we'll see how the years have treated me. And I also got, okay, so I went to O'Reilly's and the, the guy, it was like I was like I need to rent a steering wheel puller. He's like we don't have one, and I was looking at their like rental menu and I saw the harmonic the harmonic harmonic balancer puller kit, and it looks like it'll do the job. We'll see. I just hope the threads will match up. But yeah, time to disassemble the steering wheel. All right, welcome to the inside of my car. First step: take off. This plastic plug or rubber plug and we reveal a bolt I believe it's 10 millimeter it is on both sides let's see I have my socket so let's check yeah it's a 10 all right so go ahead and unbolt those I don't know where I put the other plug No, I dropped them. All right, so as you saw, I dropped both the bolts down here somewhere. I don't think that's a big deal. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You just pop out the airbag right after. The scary part that nobody likes. This is definitely the airbag. This is definitely the horn. And I forgot how you take these off. Okay, time to watch a YouTube video. Another YouTube video. And back to you guys. Back in action. <laughs> Gotta went and grabbed a flathead. Ow, mother. Pop that out. And pop this one out. And you just pull really hard to get them out. Oops. Probably not supposed to do that. There's one. And there's two. Now unplug the horn, which appears to be. Down and then Done. Hey, bags out. Now we got access to the inside of the wheel, and here are the bolts that I dropped in here earlier. Got our 10 millimeter bolts. Throw those there. And the next thing is this nuts. <laughs> got it. Play the guessing game. I'm gonna guess 16. No, that's way too small. 17? Nope. I'm gonna cry if it's an 18. Oh, it's not. Okay, good. And this is a 22, so it is between 19 and 22, which I don't have. Thank you, Harbor Freight. Oh, but it is a 13 16. So that's what we'll be using. Let's see if I can torque this out with one hand. Uh, that's not gonna work. I need an extension, which I do not have. Which we're gonna go get. Got the nut off. Don't think y'all need to watch me take that off. But what helped was locking the steering wheel, which we need to try to unlock now. There you go. And then try to center it. Okay, so it's unlocked. And try to center the wheel before we take it off. And you should get like some white out to mark the splines or something. A sharpie might. A sharpie would work. Mark you with the Sharpie, I don't think that'll help because it's marked on the wheel, but... Moment of truth, does it pull off? Okay. Oh, oh, oh! It came off, I think, while it's jiggling. It's off! That means that I don't have to use the harmonic balancer. Wow! I'm gonna unplug the white because that's your steering wheel controls and then we'll be able to pull it out. There we go. It's out. Basically, you kind of transfer everything over from this one to that one. And in the process, 
repaint these. So we're gonna take out these two screws, which should take off this back cover. Now once you get that back cover off, you'll have screws here for radio controls, two screws here for the cruise control, and then one just for that bottom bezel. Okay, so once you get that out, get the plastic bezels out, you basically have to get all these silver tabs. Start with this side, and then I take the screwdriver, push it in, and then in, 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 and then this side pops out, and then work on this side, and the tape is on this side, so there's a little bit of tape in there, like there. You'll think you don't have these two clips off, but you do, and it's just a tape holding it on. All right. Everything's here, taped up the side plastic because that's matte. And well, here goes nothing. First coat. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, so I did another coat. Looks like there's dust flying around. It looks pretty good on camera, but not as good in person. Looks like I will have to sand these down and start over. I'm gonna try to paint them in the garage. We're back. Look at it, it's black. After like four hours of painting and waiting for it to dry and messing up and painting and sanding and messing up and then waiting for it to dry. It was really this piece, this giant piece. It's like, it's, it's still not perfect, but it'll do. Fitment looks okay. There seems to be a gap. That is a quite large gap and I can't get it any closer. It's like I checked everywhere else and it's like it's all flush everywhere else. So I don't know what's what's causing that, but it's not too noticeable from the side. One gripe I have with this wheel is the center stripe is crooked. I don't know if you can tell, but it's crooked. Install just the reverse of taking it off and then we'll just get back to you when it's all on. <laughs> 